Hey, it's Professor Dave from dragondropcode.com. In the previous video, I showed you how to build a, a kind of a travel app where, you know, when you click on these blocks, it translates whatever's on the block into Spanish, okay? And, and what I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you how to kind of make this into a real app, like beautify it. Well, it won't be too beautiful, but I'll show you some ways in which you can make things look better and we'll kind of finish it, finish it out, okay? Um, so anyway, I'm going to add one more button, and this one will just say, um, you know, you are a great waiter. How about that? And on the text, I'll just say, you are a great waiter. So we've got three things that are going to be translated. We'll change it. We'll do some Mandarin instead of Spanish this time. Um, so these are the three things. A couple of things you can do with these buttons, you can change their color. Um, so the text color, I could change this one to whatever I want. Oops, I don't know if I want to change the the text color. Let's leave that white, but let's let's do the background color of of the button um, and make it a different color, so purple. And then let's just make this background color um, a different color of purple. Okay, so I don't know, that doesn't look great, but you know you can also resize these guys. Um, and and do stuff like that notice when you move things around like the red line will come up and that means you're either being aligned to each other or centered so i just centered that guy and you kind of got to play around with it um, but that guy's just going to align to these other two so anyway there's three things um, i can set the background color of the whole screen um, so let's just do something like light purple here. And anyway, so you can, you can kind of make things look, look okay. Now I'm going to add some, uh, an image to this whole app and a little bit of text. So I'm going to grab an image and I could also put images within my buttons, but I'm just going to make it an image that shows up on the screen and my picture, I'm going to upload a file. And I just created um, something called, I think called the Great Wall or something, because we're going to do China. So we'll get a picture of the Great Wall. And I'm going to bring that image in. Um, and that should show up here in a second. So anyway, we're getting there. And then I'm going to add a label that says, um, you know, click to here in Mandarin. Okay. And let's make that text a little bigger. And you can also, with your labels, you can center the text. Um, so if I click on this label and I can text the line center. Okay. Um, so anyway, this is, like I said, not a beautiful <laughs> app, but at least we're getting something that, that, that's there. And I've given you some techniques to kind of make things look okay. So anyway, I just want to go to the blocks and kind of fix these up. So we we call this bathroom text, which is fine. It's still going to say something about the bathroom, but we want to go into, and we're just going to use Chinese. The first one here is the, you know, kind of mainland China, and we got to switch it. Well, the English is fine there, but we're switching it to Chinese and Chinese. Okay, so I don't know. Let's Let's test our app. It's looking much better. And there it's in Mandarin, it's saying, where is the bathroom? We, we hope. Um, oh, sorry, I don't have anything for you, our great wet editor or, or waiter. So I need to add one more block. I'm going to do Command C, Command B to copy that. Make sure if you do that to go in. And actually, I haven't renamed that third button. So it's called button one by default. And we're just going to say button one's text from English to Chinese. So I think that third button's gonna work. And I just wanna show you one thing real quick. This third button, I never renamed. So I'm just gonna call that the waiter button. Okay, and now notice when I go back to the blocks, it's already renamed for me. Um, okay, so anyway, I think I've got an app and uh, hopefully that says uh, you're a great waiter in, in Mandarin. So. Anyway, we've got kind of, you know, an app that you might use um, if you were going to do a travel app wherever you're going and you might just put in all the sayings that you really care about and, and use, make use of your thunkable 
Funkable encoding skills. 